Hello everybody, this is the start of a new series that uh, I will call simply Mods vs. Mods. So basically, unlike uh, most mod reviewers, what I am going to be doing is taking two mods that are similar to each other, and I'm going to be comparing them together. Uh, this could be like, uh, which has better stats, what their features could be, you know, like t today, for example, we're reviewing two different shotgun mods, and we're going to be seeing which one is the best shotgun mod out of the other. So, yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video, and let's go ahead and get to some comparing. Alright, so the two shotguns we are looking at here today are the Hunting Shotgun and the Ithaca Model 37 Shotgun. As you can tell already, both of these are your classic pump-action shotgun. So let's take a closer look and see how these compare to each other. Alright, so first let's see how both of these shotguns fire. Okay, so right off the bat, the Ithaca shotgun sounds way more powerful than the hunting shotgun. The hunting shotgun, it sounds fine, it sounds alright, but I like the sound of the shotgun a lot more. It's like those action movies where the weapons, they sound really loud and powerful. That's what I like in a lot of my weapons is for them to sound loud and powerful. Anyway, about the actual shooting part, they are both pretty similar, you know, not really that much of a variation. I mean, they're both pump-action shotguns, so they're going to shoot pretty similar, so there's not really much of a difference there. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the modifications. Okay, so first, for your stats, I'm not really going to be taking a look at anything apart from their damage, because both of their fire rates are pretty similar. I mean, you're not going to be getting that much of a faster fire rate from either one of these shotguns. They're both pump-action shotguns. Uh, they do have slam fire, or at least the Ithaca has slam fire, so you'll definitely be getting a lot more faster shots with the Ithaca. But apart from that, I usually like to keep my shotguns uh, to the regular pump fire rate because I just prefer that with shotguns you know it if you if you like slam fire better go ahead and with the slam fire you'll definitely get your uh, fire rate out out but uh, yeah for now uh, with this standard the Ithaca only does about like 50 damage and the uh, hunting shotgun does like a hundred damage so already the hunting shotgun is ahead of the Ithaca on the standard damage part. So when you get the shotguns, you know, right, right away, they're, the hunting shotgun's definitely going to be more powerful. But uh, let's go ahead and start upgrading these shotguns and see how uh, they compare in uh, fire power. Alright, so fully upgraded, the hunting shotgun does 175 damage. And with the Ithaca fully upgraded, it does 996 damage. So the hunting shotgun is still ahead of the Ithaca when it comes to its damage. However, we are not done yet because the Ithaca shotgun has other types of shells. With the explosive buckshot, it does about 127 damage and the explosive slug ammo does 143 damage and keep in mind too that the explosive damage 
the full mount that you get is not on full display when it comes to weapons. Because have you ever had the explosive legendary effect on your guns before? And you upgrade your uh, explosive perk tree? Then it doesn't show the full amount of damage that you're getting from the explosive part of your weapon's ammo. And so it's usually a lot more powerful than it actually looks. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how these weapons perform while fully upgraded and no damage perks at all. Alright, so as you can see, the Ithaca shotgun is already doing way better than the hunting shotgun as far as damage goes. Not only that, it was also holding back the Deathclaw too, keeping it away from me. It couldn't even get near me, it was stuck up against the wall as I kept chewing at it. But yeah, the uh, hunting shotgun, it wasn't doing too bad either, but uh, uh, it's pretty obvious which gun was doing superior to the other so yeah the Ithaca definitely wins without the perks now let's go ahead and see how these weapons perform when they have the max amount of perks attached to them Alright, so once again, the Ithaca shotgun outperforms the hunting shotgun. As you can see, it just one shot that legendary Deathclaw. However, though, the hunting shotgun was no slouch either. It took out the legendary Deathclaw in just three hits. So, but still, it's clear that the Ithaca shotgun is way more powerful thanks to the explosive rounds. But we are not done yet. Now we are going to take a look at some of the modifications for each of these guns. So basically, it's a lot of your standard uh, Fallout 4 modifications. So there's nothing really new there. You know, you got your advanced receivers, you got your uh, stocks, all that nonsense. However, though, the hunting shotgun has a couple of camo skins for it. You got the uh, gray camo and you got your wooden camo, which is basically Dinner Bell from uh, New Vegas. The Ithaca has a couple of its own skins too. Well, they're not really skins. Uh, it's got like a dirty version and a clean version. As you can see, it it's not that much of a difference. I mean, I can definitely see some of the dirt. Uh, clean away from the gun but it doesn't really seem to look that different from the dirty version of it so it's not really a point in there for me maybe it is for you but not really much changed here all right so so far it sounds like the Ithaca shotgun has a lot more to it than the hunting shotgun but we are not done yet because there are a few other things I would like to mention about the hunting shotgun that may give it the advantage over the Ithaca shotgun and might persuade your choice in which shotgun you'll pick out of the other. So let's go ahead and take a look at that here. Alright, so the first thing I'd like to mention is that unlike the hunting shotgun, the Ithaca shotgun doesn't have any weapon replacement add-ons 
meaning that you can't replace any of the fallout vanilla weapons like the double barrel shotgun or the combat shotgun with the Ithaca shotgun unlike the hunting shotgun which you can replace the vanilla shotguns with. Uh, this may not be a problem for you but for me who likes to uh, replace their weapons sometimes in their playthroughs it's definitely a problem for me and something that definitely persuades my choice in picking the hunting shotgun over the Ithaca shotgun but we're still not done yet something very important that I'd like to mention about the hunting shotgun that is compatible with bullet counted reload now as you know uh, on Xbox uh, bullet counted reload is now available and the hunting shotgun is one of the mods that it works with however though the Ithaca shotgun it does not work with I have tried to make it work I couldn't get to work something else I'd like to mention though with the hunting shotgun is it's kind of finicky like it works but it doesn't work all the time so I'm not really sure what the deal with that is I've done what the mod says it says to put it at the bottom of your load order which I've done that and it still doesn't work all the time but it definitely does work some of the time but if you don't care about having to reload every single shot then go ahead and go with the Ithaca but if you really want that ability to uh, load in every shot you uh, made then go ahead and get the hunting shotgun because you can download bullet counted reload with anyway so conclusion both of these mods are pretty great the mod offers did a fantastic job on them uh, the, as far as which one I like better the Ithaca definitely has a lot more going for it it sounds a lot better it, it is more powerful in general thanks to its explosive rounds uh, however though the hunting shotgun uh, is basically the same shotgun from New Vegas which that definitely puts in some points in it for me it also looks a little bit better than the Ithaca shotgun you know I just uh, wish it sounded a little bit more powerful you know like the Ithaca shotgun it just has like a really loud powerful sh sound to it the only issue is unlike the hunting shotgun it doesn't have bullet counted reload so that's definitely an advantage that the hunting shotgun has over that also the hunting shotgun has weapon replacement add-ons which the Ithaca shotgun does not which for me is a big deal I don't know about you guys but I like to replace my weapons sometimes when I'm doing certain playthroughs especially ones that get rid of a lot of the NPCs so yeah that's definitely useful on my end I don't know about yours anyway which one of the mods do I like better uh, it's kinda hard to tell uh, both of the mods definitely have their pros and cons if I had to pick one I I do think that the hunting shotgun is just a little bit better mainly because you can replace uh, the vanilla shotguns with it and that bullet counted reload really helps this case a lot too I really do wish it sounded a lot more powerful and had the extra ammo types but other than that I don't really have a problem with it it's a really good shotgun mod so is the Ithaca but I think the hunting shotgun, at least for me, is just a little bit higher up that tier. But yeah, that's pretty much what I think about the uh, two mods. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you liked what you see, make sure to leave a like and share this video. If you have a couple of mods that you want to see me compare to each other, go ahead and leave a suggestion down in the comments below 
but yeah I uh, I just thought I'd try something a bit different out uh, so far my players have not been doing so well so I figured I'd give this a go and just see how it plays out you know if people like it I'll keep going if people don't I might try something else or keep going anyway but yeah I hope you all enjoyed it I uh, will see you all in the next video and yeah just you know goodbye <laughs>